<laughs> oh yes, George. We all float down here. We all float. <laughs> uh, here it is, the thing I saved best for last. It's Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> Pennywise, the dancing clown. <laughs> and I got them all. <laughs> oh, jeez. I got them all. The classic who Tim Curry um, was as Pennywise. And of course, Bill Scott God, who was Pennywise. So worth watching the second one in the theater. I wanted to watch this one, but nobody wouldn't let me. So disappointed. <laughs> I managed to convince for this one. It was so worth it. Oh my god, it was so worth it. It was so worth feeling like a robot for like two days straight. Oh god. Okay, um, this one. Um, I didn't get this until after I got the it, the first it, and I just watched it, I was like, okay. Well, I didn't say, okay, but it was pretty interesting, and totally the opposite of this one, well, not totally the opposite, I'm talking about, like, um, characters and all that, like, they're not young, they're older and all that, and yeah. let's just say, more because I didn't read the book back then when I got the book I so far I'm on chapter 3 well I keep getting lost in chapter 3 because there's so many there's so much in it and I just my favorite quotes are mostly from Pennywise and I basically did that first thing as soon as this video played, oh yes, we all float down here, Georgie. We all float. <laughs> Kiss me, fat boy. <laughs> ah, jeez. Kiss me. This made in Mexico. Yeah, there you go. This one, on uh, this one, I was watching the scenes on YouTube until I finally got my chance to buy the DVD. So I finally got the DVD, so... And after I did, <laughs> obviously I watched a yell. I think the most effective scene that, you know, messes around my head is the projector screen, but, and the basement, and it's like, do 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 I, I got a lot of stuff, favorite, I got a favorite things from here, and it's Georgie, is like, you will flow too, you will flow too, you will flow too, you will flow too. I would do it from my beginning one. We all float down here, Bill. You all float too. You all float too. You all float too. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Sorry. Oh uh, God. Oh man. I can I can see it in my head, but I can't say it. Like I can I can think of a scene of Eddie at the um at the house. And he sees Pennywise, the dancing. He sees Pennywise after had been chased by a, a dead hope, a, a dead leaper. <laughs> God. Um, oh yes, Georgie, we all float down here. And popcorn. Yes. Is that your favorite? Because they pop, 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 pop. pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, 
I am so crazy over this. Even though I can't even watch it as much as I want to. There's like so much like triggering things. I can only think of top three. Um, I'm gonna start from like three to one. Three, um, the title call with the it, it chapter two, like the it, 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 I know it's the carnival, but that only bothered me on the big screen because the screen is humongous, so. But it was the title call that was a big thing because it just. Instead of normal, it was basically going wee 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 with multiple carnival colors because Pennywise is a clown, so. Of course, it had its. Of course, it's multiple colors. So, I don't blame them. <laughs> and, um, the second of the top three, um, let's see, second of the top three, um, will have to be. will have to be um, Beverly's um, trap scene in the bathroom so basically the ceiling light and number one is the mirrors the hall of mirrors in the funhouse that one is the most effective more like equally effective with Beverly's bathroom trap but it's more effective, so no matter how much I love those two scenes, seriously I do, um, I cannot watch them as much as I want to, because if I do watch them as much as I want to, like I do with any other scene, uh, I would definitely have a problem, like a major one. That's like a for on bad decision there. If I choose to um just um watch that's those two scenes over and over because um my laptop like I said has a bunch of scenes. I added them on movie maker so I can just watch them over and over again to you know you know learn the movements of the character, learn their face expressions learn their like voice, especially the villains, I learn, I try to learn their like voice tones, like the Shining, um, for Red Run, I, I did have the scene on my laptop, but then I lost the file, um, Red Run, I kept watching it, and then, well, I had a scene of it, and I had an audio, audio of it. Um, I will watch the video to watch the actions of the kid and the way he, like, and his face expressions to see the way he does it. And then when, and if I'm not watching it, or if I don't want to watch the scene, but I want to hear it, I will have I will play the audio version so I'll be only hearing it while I'm doing something else on my laptop <coughs> I will do this until I can memorize it Red it's basically one of the reasons why I'm always coughing because I base it's mainly mostly towards horror movies that I do this. 
And for the shining, I basically did it for like two months. And the in movies, uh, it was, well, as soon as I saw the end movie, in chapter 2, like, a month before I watched it too, um, well, actually the month I saw it too, um, I was repeating scenes, well, technically not before I watched it, I was repeating the scenes of the trailer, I should say, um, I forget when I posted my trailer reactions of the trailers, um, but when I did, I was constantly repeating the trailers over and over and over again. Basically, trying to imitate Pennywise's voice and face reactions. I did it the same with the first movie. I was basically repeating it and repeating it and repeating it, trying to imitate his face reactions. But point is, during my id obsession, I was constantly watching and playing the autos of the id franchise, trying to imitate, trying to learn the, learn that part of the horror movie stuff. <coughs> At least, Bill Scargods style of harmonies because everyone has a style so basically when I get hooked up on a movie I basically repeat that style their style like I will literally make a folder with all these scenes and that scene I will put the name of that scene and the name of the actor or actress and if I want to repeat that over and over I will repeat that over and over again until I feel like I got it right and if I don't and if I when I go in front of the camera and I play it or if I just go in front of the mirror and I feel like it's wrong I go straight back to the video and just do it and do it over and over or if I don't want to do camera or mirror I just go straight to one of my siblings and try to scare them all. Try to scare them for fun. Yeah. I basically scare them off. <laughs> I basically, you know, copy the scenes like crazy. Um, man. Ah, oh, fail quotes. Okay, um, the Stanley Spiderhead scene. Oh my god, that freaked the crazy out of me in the movie theater. I wanted to scream my head off, but I couldn't. OMG. Good, thank goodness I had a zap pack box. Because when I get nervous or excited or freaked out, I start slowly tearing up the box but the zap packs there's like a plastic popcorn holder in there so it it's not that easy for me to rip it because I'm holding on to the plastic I was officially freaked out by that it's like it it's like the thing it's like that except it's it styles so I was officially freaked out especially the fact that I'm terrified of spiders oh, for me watching that now I really like it especially with the quote like you gotta be fucking kidding <laughs> I love that quote and I also like when Reggie's like oh there it oh there he is <laughs> and Annie is like I wanna go home <laughs> But, uh, since then, I want to kill every single scary fat spider there is. <laughs> like, just the other day, there was one that literally crawled off of me and on the wall next to my face. <laughs> I, I was so freaked out. And I went, don't, 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 don't. Oh, oh my god, sorry dude. 
DVD. It was like screaming at the top of my head and smashing it. I crazy. I like bend the wall probably more than two more than four times. I don't know. I was somewhere else. <laughs> Like, I had a moment that it was not a spider. <laughs> like, it was a spider, but at the same time, it wasn't. <laughs> Afterwards, I had my lights on for the rest of the night. <laughs> oh, God, it was crazy. <laughs> it was so crazy. <gasps> Basically, chapter two is an awesome movie. But at the same time, if you're scared of spiders, um, it will freak you out more. <laughs> and make you laugh at the scene after you watch it a few times. <laughs> Cause, um, yeah, it's a reference to, um, the thing. And the way Eddie's like, I wanna go home. <laughs> yeah, it makes it funny. And the fact that, um, um, Bill is Charles Xavier. Uh, yeah. That just makes the scene even better. <laughs> yeah, so, um, after a while, I found some funny things in it. <laughs> so, it doesn't really scare me as much as before, but it's still not. <laughs> yeah, so, out of all, out of the entire movie, that part, that scene freaked me out the most. And the, the, um, the, <laughs> the, um, the, the, uh, fun house scene, <laughs> him constantly, Pennywise constantly hitting the mirror, that freaked me out on the big screen, um, yeah, if that was in 3D, um, <laughs> I would have been probably, um, paralyzed for the rest of the movie, like, paralyzed in fear, um, and the balloons in the beginning, that made me freeze for a few minutes, cause I'm like, uh, are we dead? <laughs> My favorite is your flop too, your flop too. Oh god. <gasps> and the fortune cookies, my god. When watching it on the big screen. Um, it was just so worth watching that movie. So worth it. Uh -huh. It was so worth it. talking forever about this movie. <sighs> oh no, the other thing that, hold on, I forgot another one. The other one that freaked me out in the movie theater is the old lady. That freaked me out. Oh my god, did any, did that freak anyone out? I don't know, what do you guys think? What scene freaked you out in the movie theater or even on DVD? What scene freaked you out?